let me ask you guys a question out there. If a comet were to hit the Earth, would you be able to survive? I mean, maybe. If it was about the size of, like, uh, my phone or something, I would be fine. What if it was the size of about a whole city? Well, that's what we're going to be seeing today. We're going to be seeing the smallest comets known to man all the way up to the biggest known to man. And like I said, let me know if you would survive any of these. I'm surviving all of them. I'm telling you right now. Maybe not. A uh, big shout out to Metaball Studios for the video. And let's get to it. The real sizes of most known comets. And let me know in the comments if you would survive. What was going on in the background? That was like 40 of them. All right, guys, if you haven't, scroll down for me. Hit that subscribe button and let's get real. This is a comet. Okay. What is that ball of light? And its nucleus is of this size. Wait a minute. What, what are we talking about right now? Oh, there's the comet right there. It's heading straight towards the city. Love that. Beale's Comet? It's about the size of like a boat. Okay. It was observed. To oh, wait a minute. I'm going to switch my face cam real quick. Okay, now you should be able to see the words. It says it was observed to have split in two and was not seen since 1800. Is that what that said? Who's in the plane? Flying through a comet is crazy, by the way. Watch the words be on this side of the screen now. Okay, we're good. We're all good. C 2023, the brightest comet of 2024. That is huge. 4.2 kilometer in diameter. It was dubbed the Great Comet of 1996. Okay. What's the next one? I can't read that name, but it's 4.3 kilometers. Oh, Metaball Studios went crazy with this. We got the outer space view. Did we see this from a satellite? We got some amazing technology out there. It was the destination of the European Space Agency's Rosetta mission in 20, or 2004. They arrived at the comet in 10 years later. My goodness. That is terrifying when you actually think about it. That's just out there flying around, by the way. I mean, there's nothing you can do, so, like, don't be scared. But, like, Rosetta's lander landed on the comet's surface, becoming the first spacecraft to land on a comet nucleus. That's crazy. Wow. You got to think about how fast those are going, too. I don't know how fast they're going, but I know they're fast. And that thing just landed on it? Insane. Outstanding, one would say. Keep that far away from us, please. Hit that subscribe button. Shout out Metaball. Let's go. Comet in... What is that? Ink? It has an orbit around the sun of only three years. Wow. Oh, my... Yeah, I mean, from this point on, definitely like a few points before and on, we be cooked, bro. Look at that comet. Are you joking? Comet Comus can be thousands or millions of kilometers long. What did you just say, sir? Thousands or millions? Okay, we got Wild here. The Stardust spacecraft flew alongside Wild in 2004 and collected particle samples. That's kind of crazy. Comet Shoemaker. Let's go make us some shoes, bro. What a guy. All right, what a comet. He's not trying to destroy anything. It was a comet that broke up in 1992 with a visible fragment ranged in size a few hundred to two. That's so many of them, though. Of two kilometers, a few hundred of them? Oh, did they hit Jupiter? Wow. What would this impact of Earth look like? Oh, no. We're about to see. Would you survive this? Let's see. I'm surviving. I'm calling it now. I'm living. Not if you're, like, right there. If you're in that city. Oh, if you're in that city, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Or if you're these people. Oh, it's New York, too. Oh, New York would be cooked, cooked. 
Shout out to my New Yorkans out there. If y'all live in New York, uh, you're fine. But in this case, you wouldn't be. Temple. It was, the, it was the target of the Deep Impact Space Mission in 2005. Brother, that is crazy. They, they actually hit it. Why? What, what was the point of hitting it? Making it mad? Haley's Comet. It is the only short period comet visible, appearing every 72 to 80 years. It'll return in 2061. Can it return like far away? Oh, now it's under my face. On December 2023, Haley's Comet reached the furthest and slowest point in its orbit from the sun. Is that good or bad news? Five billion kilometers approximately. Oh, okay. So we're cooling it. That's all right. It's way far away from us, basically, is what that said. It's what we like to hear. Uh, now this is under my face, but it's fine. Comet Swift. It is the source body of what? Great Comet of 1811. It is the comet that was visible to the naked eye for about 260 days. That's terrifying. I'm not going to read that name, but classified as minor planet. It's so big, it's basically a planet. Hail Bop! One of the most observed of the 20th century. Never heard of it. The comet probably made its previous approach in 20... 2215 BC. So that comet has seen some things. And that's the boat that we saw at the beginning. Are you joking? So I'm assuming that's the biggest comet that we know of, maybe? The sheer size of that scares me. Please just stay away. My goodness. Look at this guy. He's like, uh, boss? Something rose. I don't know what this is. It's no iceberg, but like... Bro. You could see the boat just start to disappear. That is wild. Would you survive any of... Classified as minor planet and comet. Sinos? It gets bigger? What? Classified as minor planet once again. I thought that was the biggest one. It's not visible to the naked eye. It remains outside of the inner solar system. It's continuing, bro. I don't like the way this keeps going. The largest Oort cloud comet known. I don't know what that means. It even has like the Saturn thing or whatever. The Saturn rings. Oh, brother. Views from New York to Washington, D.C. You could just see the comments from Michael still. Yeah, keep those far away. I'm already kind of scared. Well, like I said, bro, uh, let me know if you would survive any of those. I mean, a lot of those we'd be cooked. Let's just hope they stay far, far away. Other than that, guys, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching with me. I love y'all. Goodbye.